These hives in Wiltshire are an unlikely location for an experiment that could help save one of Britain's most threatened insects, the honeybee. Ron Hoskins has been keeping bees since he was 12. Now, the bees he tends are the subject of groundbreaking research that could provide clues to the origin and cure for a disease that has wiped out bee colonies throughout the UK. The culprit is this tiny mite, Varroa. This pest and the diseases linked with it have played a part in the deaths of about 30% annually of all of the bees in Britain. The mites really are very tiny indeed. If you look on this board here, some of the little red dots are Varroa mite. They're tiny, but they're deadly. The mite gets into the hive and then feeds on tiny bee larvae, sucking the blood out of them. That weakens them and leaves them susceptible to a range of viruses that the mites carry. The reason Ron's hives are exciting interest is that his bees, although they had Varroa and initially big colony deaths, haven't had anything like the death rates of other hives. Ron has never used pesticides to kill the mites. He believes that his bees have learned how to groom the larvae to get rid of them. I first met him in 2011 for Spring Watch. He'd spotted the evidence on the debris trays. I had noticed that there are little varroa mites on there yeah. and I collected them and examined them and found a lot of them were damaged. Damaged? I'm pretty sure it was done by the bees actually grooming them off. So they're mutually grooming these things off? Monkey fashion, certainly. Wow. Not only that, these German pictures show bees in the hive actually unplugging the larval cells and dragging larvae infested with mites out. Now armed with years of data, Ron has gone further, breeding queens from hives that show the best grooming behaviour in an attempt to fix that behaviour in the next generation. He thinks he's bred bees that can resist Varroa. Oh my goodness, look at that, that works, doesn't it? 